this is a weekly vlog which will start on Monday 18th of September. So I'm sharing here um, the progress on the World Warp for an Elephant workshop, the different clothes I had been doing for this workshop. I also had a friend who visited for several days and uh, we did a lot of explorations of um, beautiful things around my city here, Saint-Étienne. So we went to visit Le Parc du Pila, which is a park, a sort of county park around the city, which is super easy to reach. You can go there in 10 minutes and it's really wild, really beautiful, really spectacular. It's not very, very high mountains like in the Alps where I come from. It's about 1000 meters high, something like that, but it's very decent mountains, little mountains. And uh, yes, and I really enjoyed our time here with the trees, the forest, the donkeys. So today it is Monday, the beginning of the week. This weekend is going to be pretty busy and pretty fun too. I'm finishing the end of the bonus workshop, which is the World Warp for an Elephant, which is also uh, another workshop. So I'm finishing the dress, the child's dress here. As you can see, half of it is almost done. We still have some decor and I'm going to film this afternoon the other side, the pockets, the decors. We are going to uh, add a lot of things behind it. Um, yes, it's going to be quite fun. And this week I hope so to finish all this, to edit, film, and add all the last details that I want to PDF I need to do too. And also a little later this week I have a friend who visits me for one week um, and we are going to explore and to visit a lot of things which I had no possibility to do um, since I arrived in, in June so I'm really really excited. We're going to see how she looks like with her dress. It's really fun. I wouldn't do my sleeves this way for a dress, which would be a sculpture or just something I would have uh, hanging on a door, something like that. But here it's really it's with the rib.
also went to Lyon. So my friend had never been in Lyon before, so we visited all the parts of the city, the old Lyon, visited all the, the places, cathedral, churches, the, that tourists used to go when they go there. And we went to La Cathedral Saint-Jean, which is a very nice classical cathedral, I would say. I've been there only once in 15 years living in Lyon. <laughs> so it's always this thing, when you live in, in a place, you, you forget that you have all these beautiful things around you and you never visit them. So it was really nice to go all, in all these places with her. We have been to La Basilique de Fourvière at the top of the, um, of the hill, Fourvière, and it was really nice. We have also visited Le Musée de la Miniature, the miniature and cinema museum which is quite spectacular with a lot of set of the film The Perfume and we both love this film so it was nice to go back there. I've been there many times but I always like to go back there and to see what new things they have. They change the set quite uh, regularly so it was really nice to see the new, new things and go back to the beautiful set of The Perfume. This is just a scene from the perfume the film and this is one of the set decor of the film. It's quite spectacular. finished our day at Le Café des Négociants, which is a typical café in Lyon, where you can eat and drink delicious tea, delicious ice creams, cakes and all that, and also eat proper meals.
I am now filming the end of the workshop in my fairy tale living room because now my mattress all that arrived in my bedroom and I can't use it as a studio. I um, can't wait to be in my real studio but I have to be in my fairy tale living room for a while. To finish all that I'm also going to film a paper secret about paper clothes and giving a few tips about uh, paper clothes, paper dresses, all that. And now I'm going to try to catch up with my schedule. I'm still super, super late, but I'm on the good path. So going to finish this very funny jacket for my elephant. adjusted my jacket now it is dry on my elephant to see already what I have to change what is fragile or that we are going to put all the things together cut the, the I think it's quite nice so you see it's really an 18th century jacket where the pieces on the front goes really on the back it's it's made on purpose I think it's quite fun so you need to have something pretty of course on the front So continue to work on this workshop and also started to work on an exhibition which will take place ne next year. I don't do a lot of exhibitions these past years, I've stopped doing that for a while. And this one I really wanted to do it because it's quite fun, it's on a theme I really like. And I'm going to explore a few old fairy tales by Madame Delnois, which some of them I go back to them on a regular basis and some I have never done anything on them, so it's going to be um, scenes from the benevolent frog which is a very very super well written fairy tale from the blue bird and also from white cat from the blue bird I'm going to do the, the carriage with the green mice which is very similar to the Cinderella carriage but I don't really know if she wore it before or not but I like her, her description of it there is this also super nice scene in the, benevolent, in the benevolent frog when the frog starts to um, turn a lot of characters which were frogs, snails, lizards in beautiful princess and dancing or that there is quite a magical scene and I'm going to try to um, do that in, in paper with my, my techniques so it's going to be quite fun to explore all these fairy tales and I'm going to do some versions too for my shop and for Etsy so you're going to see other, um, other adaptations of these uh, beautiful fairy tales. Maybe you don't know them but you should really, if you, if you learn French, if you have started to learn French, you should try to, to read them because the way she writes is really really spectacular. I love all the other fairy tales writer, but Madame Dolma's style is very, very special. She writes very, very well. So you're going to see that next year. I'm not going to share a lot of that. Uh, this upcoming month is going to come next winter. And uh, yes, and I'm just started. I had to, to give back the measurements and these sort of things because they're going to do a little set, I think, around the scenes. So that's the reason I started to work on on this and I also wanted to start a series before Christmas about all these fairy tales. Hope you enjoyed this little vlog. I will see you soon with another paper secret and also all my series about my decor, home decor. It's all coming, don't worry. I didn't forget all that. The, these past days were just crazy busy but I'm going to share all that with you and you can always ask me your questions in the comments below. 
For the moment, I will leave you here, going back to Madame Delnoir, to my benevolent frog and all my other stories. And I hope to see you very soon. Mm -hmm.